This is a Renogy One monitoring station. It's a brand new monitoring station with a built-in screen, as you can see here. Some connections in the back, Bluetooth module made for monitoring your Renogy off-grid system, be it batteries, solar charge controllers, power inverters, anything with a Bluetooth module, really. It'll even take some connections of hard wire from one device to the back of this Renogy One. This is a perfect monitoring solution for an RV camper or an off-grid situation, and it might be something that actually goes in my truck. Ham Radio 2.0 reviews news and how-tos of things that are new in ham radio. And what does this have to do with ham radio? Well, I'll tell you. We spent a week in Galveston, well, about eight or nine days in Galveston. Prior to that, I was in Colorado for the Overland Expo Mountain West show. And during that time, I probably put about 1,500 or so miles on my pickup truck driving from Texas to Colorado and back, and then from Dallas-Fort Worth to Galveston and back. During that time, I used the Renogy... 100 amp hour Bluetooth battery to power my Snowmaster fridge, which I kept in the back of the truck, and all of my radios. All of my radios were powered by this battery. I would set up a solar panel to keep the battery charged during the day while the truck was sitting at the Overland Show or sitting at the house in Galveston. I found very good success with getting this 100 amp hour battery to run all of my devices, uh, my GMRS radio, my ICOM 9500, my ICOM 7, IC7000, my FTM 300, which I had beaconing APRS for the entire trip, both places. And it did a fantastic job. You're going to see some more videos about that battery upcoming. But the battery and the solar charge controller I have attached to the battery both have a Bluetooth in them. And I can monitor those from my phone. Now, I find that the phone app is kind of slow. So when I launched the Renogy uh, Home, what's called the Renogy Home app, it comes up and it says, you know, it, it, it scans everything in the vicinity and it pulls up those things that I've added. It works fine, but it doesn't auto reconnect all these things. So I have to launch the app and refresh the app every time to reconnect to the battery and everything. And, and if I'm sitting there monitoring it, driving down the road, the phone eventually the screen goes dark, the phone goes in the sleep mode as phones do as they should do. So the Renogy Home app does not keep the phone alive. Enter this guy who would be really good in a mobile application, be it in a vehicle or in your RV or something, but this is a constantly on Bluetooth and hardline, hardwired monitoring device to monitor all of your, whatever you have, whatever the devices you have. In fact, if we switch over to the overhead cam here real, real quick, I'm gonna show you this manual which looks really good. You can see right here in this, okay, this is the back of it right here. So you can see all of the, the ports in it right here. It's got ports for three different hardline devices, a, a USB-C type connection, a RJ45 for an Ethernet port, and this is, the, uh, this is the power connection. These are mounting screws on the corners here. You can see a little bit better there. Less than or equal to 30-volt power supply into all, of, all three of these devices, 12-volt power supply in here. Renogy devices with RVC or RS-485 communications pieces right here that connect to this. And the, the, it's, the device itself has Bluetooth built in. Here are a couple of communication diagram configurations. So you can, this is, this is a big one here. So it uses this thing called Zigbee, which I think is kind of like a home application app. I'm not 100% familiar with it, but apparently Zigbee will work with this device, okay? So Wi-Fi to the cloud over to your DC home app on your phone over here. Renogy One, and it has all these devices you can connect via Bluetooth or RS-485 or RVC. Now, this one right here shows clearly you have a Renogy One with a Bluetooth device with a built-in Bluetooth that will connect via dotted line here. So that tells me that there's Bluetooth built into the Renogy One. I'm going to test that here in just a minute. And then device two and three with a BT1 and BT2 Bluetooth module, like my solar char charge controller that's in the truck right now, doesn't have built to, uh, Bluetooth built into it, but it does have this BT2 device. So these should all Bluetooth to the Renji One device. This is a this is a diagram of nothing that is hardlined in to the device right here. Then you've got some more diagrams over here, this kind of thing. This is a really good manual. It's got a mounting template for the the back of the device where you want to mount it, installation guides, whatnot. So this is the device right here. I'll show you the back first. Okay, so these are the ports. It's uh, positive, negative, one, two, and three here. So I could connect a battery that doesn't have Bluetooth. I could connect some sort of monitoring device that doesn't have Bluetooth. Maybe, maybe I could connect my solar charge controller directly to it, maybe, something like that. But you can connect. Heck, I guess I could even connect, like, I don't know if I could connect a radio to it or not. That would be an interesting experiment. But this is your RJ45. This is the USB-C. 
and this is the uh, the proprietary plug that it comes with. And if we go right here, so I just booted this up. So I'm going to go next, searching for internet. This is going to be the setup of the device. QRZ, of course, is my available network, as you guys have seen on the channel before. I'm going to enter my password, and I'm not going to show you what it is. Searching for the Bluetooth, verifying network, or select them. You can select a network manually. That's kind of a neat thing right there. The latest update is available. Okay, good. So we're going to update it. So it'll update itself. I've had this device for about a month at the time of this recording. I've been on the road so much, I haven't had a chance to make a video about it yet. But I will tell you this, Renogy has been, like I, I started to say earlier, and I don't think I finished my thought on that, but Renogy has been, I contacted him, I said, hey, I bought some of your devices, I'm going to make, it, make a video with this and this and this, and I've done one or two things so far. They've been very generous in sending me things to review and support, and um, just kind of been very forthcoming with information, answering emails, very good with customer service. And I mean, because they don't know who I am, but I want to thank them because they've been very generous and supportive of this channel. There we right there, install the app, installed and next, pair with app. Okay, so I'm going to take my phone here and open my Renogy Home app, add device, add Renogy 1. There's that. That was that quick right there. Name, Renogy 1M1. Add device. If I had any devices right there, it would show clearly on the screen. And I can use my phone and the Renogy 1. I can add a device. We're going to go out to the truck here in a minute. And I'm going to add some devices. And I can go into settings right here. System, display. I can go to themes. Light and dark. Oh, lights for the subscription plan only. Okay. They do have a subscription plan. Uh, I don't know exactly what that entails. I like the dark screen better anyway. I don't want the light screen. Screen rotation. I can rotate it 90 or 180 degrees or 270 degrees. So in other words, if I wanted to hang it in the truck like or in the RV like this, or hang it upside down for some who knows why reason, I could rotate the screen like that. That's kind of neat. Makes for a good configuration, so you can mount it in multiple places. You don't have to be stuck somewhere. Sleep mode, never. That's exactly what I want is never. Backlight adjustment. Okay, so that's as bright as it gets. And turn it way down like that. Like that. Automatic setting. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's leave it on that. So display settings there. Okay. And back to home. Now, you'll see September 13th at 1 p.m. local time. I didn't set that. Presumably, it pulled that from my phone. So that's what that says right there. I can zoom down a little bit. I, we're done with the phone. So let's get a little bit closer shot of that. So this is the screen right now. If it was connected to a battery via Bluetooth, it would show the battery status right there, fully charged in and current. This is everything that's being pulled from and put into the battery. The current will tell you both A, so if I've got my radios on and it's and the radios are running on receive only, and I've got a solar panel connected, the current will be the amount of solar coming in minus the current being drawn from the radios. So it calculates all that for you. Fully charged in, it'll give you a number there in hours saying, okay, so you've got solar coming in, it's going to be fully charged in half hour, 12 hours, whatever it is like there, right there. So you can get about there, network, date and time, pair with app, restart, reset, power off, okay, good deal. Kind of that stuff there. Obviously, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to um, pair this with my mobile network connection so that uh, I can use it when I'm driving down the road. We're going to take this thing out to the truck. I'm going to take the battery with it. <laughs> and I'm going to plug it up, or I'm going to associate it with my uh, battery that's in my truck, which is a temporary setup right now, and also with the charge controller that's in the truck. Again, this the truck is a work in progress. You guys will see videos on that upcoming. So let's go check that out right now. Are you tired of being overcharged and forced into paying a monthly subscription for your Mac and Windows software? Well, if you are, currently we're having a 50% off discount on all the latest Mac and Windows software, such as AutoCAD, SolidWorks, Photoshop, Microsoft Office, and much more. Our 50% off discount will be ending soon, so be sure to text us, Need Software, to 818-217-0380. That's 818-217-0380. Okay, I'm wondering if the sun is too bright to see the screen on this thing. But, you know what? We're going to try it and find out. All right, so I told you this, this setup was temporary. This is obviously my 
100 amp hour Renogy battery here and it has built in Bluetooth and has a QR code and you can scan it. Just download the DC Home app from Renogy, scan this and it automatically adds it. This is the Renogy Wanderer solar charge controller. It is not MPPT. I could have got MPPT if I wanted to. For what I needed, I didn't uh, I didn't care about MPPT uh, because I actually have a different setup for the truck that I'll be putting in later. More to come on that. Okay, so here is, I wonder if I can see, yeah, you can kind of see that. Okay, so now I'm going to try to add some devices. This has, this Wanderer solar charge controller has the BT1 device. So it doesn't have Bluetooth built in, but you add Bluetooth with this RS-232 port on it. And of course, this thing has a really long cable, and you can kind of mount that wherever you want it. If you want to mount it up high somewhere in the vehicle or in your RV, it'd probably reach out a lot farther. Links to this and everything else will be in the description below. Please do check the links because Renogy has been kind enough to provide me with affiliate links. So I can make a small commission on some of the links that I'm sharing in the description below. Let's peel the plastic off of this. Okay. <laughs> All right, add devices. It's really bright out here, so. Okay, RNG CTRL, that's probably the solar charge controller. Didn't find the, there it is, there's the blue, there's the battery. Okay, so it's. Okay, so now, I know there's glare in that screen right there. This is the, the status on your battery. The battery's at 94%. Says it's at 93.8% on this small screen, and this this it rounds off on that top part right there. And then the solar, solar charge controller, it says zero watts at zero amps. That's because it's not plugged into a solar panel right now. So if it's plugged into a solar panel, that could I could click on that and get more information. I can click on this and get more information. 93.8%, 100 amp hour batteries, it's at 13.3 volts. Present current is zero amps because it's not. It's also not plugged in anything right now. I had it running my refrigerator earlier and I unplugged it because there's no reason to run the refrigerator in the, in the truck right now. There's nothing in it, so I'm at home. Now I can mount it like this if I wanted to. If I did the 270 degree, it would flip it the other way around and I could mount it like this. And that's probably the way that I'm going to uh, put it if I'm going to mount it in the truck, which I'm thinking about doing. But I really like this screen. It's a good-looking screen. It's easy to monitor your items, your devices. Once I hook my 3,000-watt pure sine wave inverter, it has a Bluetooth module on it as well. I'll be able to add it to the list of devices, and I'll be able to monitor everything while I'm on the road or where I'm camping or overlanding or whatever. I have been, I've been using that Renogy battery for probably been using it in the truck for the last two to three months something like that been very happy with it bluetooth having bluetooth in the battery is really cool having being able to monitor like that is really cool i've charged it up and down a bunch of times it runs all of my devices for i don't know like my it'll run the radios for probably almost a freaking week i'm um, depending on depending on how much you transmit of course but when i add the the, the snowmaster refrigerator into the mix it, it kind of brings it down especially with the weather in texas right now but uh, expect to see more videos about Renogy products on this channel. Uh, let me know in the description below what Renogy pro if you've ever used a Renogy product, which one is it? Which one do you like? Uh, go check their website. Use the, uh, the links in the description below to go check their website. Let me know what products you would like to see reviewed on this channel next time, 73.